What is up, ladies and gents? Welcome back to the channel. Another very exciting, very, I did not see coming, announcement that's gone under the radar, that has slipped in into the recent Gamescom event. I'm your host, Jay Notion. This is a reaction video checking out Tormented Souls 2. It's an extended announcement trailer. I absolutely praise and loved the first game. There was a couple of little weird mechanics in terms of the gameplay. It was choppy in areas, but it's an indie developer, an indie publisher. Hopefully, this one has a bigger budget, has got a bigger team, because apparently the first game did quite well. So, very, very pleased. I have played the first game on the channel as well. If you guys want to go and check out the first game, if you've not heard of it, if you want to see a little bit more about it, it's a really good horror game. It's probably one of my top five as well, if I'm honest, because even with the issues that it had, all the bugs, the glitching, sometimes aside, it was a very strong horror experience. All the stuff that we know and love, jump scares, you know, atmospheric sound, great story, weird enemies, creepy ass environments. It was all there. It was a perfect horror piece of cake. So hopefully the second one is going to deliver. I know absolutely nothing about it. I didn't even know this was coming. So I think a lot of people have been in the same camp, but the first game was great. So without further ado, let's have a little look. <laughs> Ah, uh, that's creepy. Eat daughter's flesh, Lord. The cutscenes already look much better than the first one. You can already tell there's more budget for this. There she is. I think it was Catherine or Caroline. any gameplay I don't think no. very nice so very short very sweet we didn't get any gameplay whatsoever but I can tell you now even just by looking at the quality of that cutscene because obviously the first game had cutscenes in it's got a bigger budget it looks like it's going to be set outside the first game was kind of set in a weird mental hospital this one has got a church graveyard type feel maybe we're going to be in a weird village uh, Resident Evil Village type of setting, who knows? The same publishers are back, so you've got P-Cube, Dual Effect, and it's out in 2024. So again, a wish list item, guys. You add this to your wish list on the PlayStation Store. When it becomes available for pre-order or release, it will tell you. I'd imagine this one's going to be around £30. I think the first one was about £25-£30 when it was first released. Dropped down to about 15 Sometimes it's on offer now for about £8, which... I feel is absolutely worth it. I think it's worth the the price tag that it comes out at. If it came out at twenty five pounds, thirty pounds, I think thirty five is a push, but thirty or less, I think the first game is absolutely worth that amount of money. Especially if you're a fan of horror, if you're a fan of the genre and the way that the game plays. It's very Resident Evil, but old school Resident Evil, where you've got to collect items, go to certain areas, backtrack a little bit, use those items on doors to get further into the game. You've got resource management, item management in there, and creepy ass areas. And it's kind of like the old school Resident Evil where you've got like a fixed camera shot as well. So if you're into the old school Resident Evil games, so one to three, you will enjoy the first Tormented Souls game and you need to play it. But this one looks good. As I said, not much to go by. We've just looking at a cutscene, so who knows? But based on what I saw in that cutscene, they've got more oomph and they've got more hopefully um sort of money pumped into this new one to make it better than the first game hopefully they've ironed out some of the bugs ironed out some of the creases some of the issues that was wrong with the first game and it was purely on a gameplay level it was nothing wrong with the characters nothing wrong with the voice acting the monsters were creepy the sound was brilliant 
it was just literally some clipping and chopping and rendering issues so hopefully that's been ironed out with a bigger budget for this one again i will be playing this game i will wish list this game um now to make sure that i'm aware of when this comes out and i will be doing a full game play for you guys so make sure you stay tuned to the channel to witness horror greatness hopefully as a big fan of horror i want this one to do well it's an indie developer it's not as well known as some of the other bigger developers of horror out there so i want this one to do well and please do check out my gameplay my full gameplay um walkthrough of the first game which is now live on the channel i'll leave a link to that in the description of the video if you want to check it out thank you so much for watching the video guys let me know in the comments what you think of the game are you pumped for it did you play the first one if you didn't j nation says go and play it because it's awesome and it'll make you shit yourself until the next time guys i will see you again very soon peace